Master Chef judges are known to be supportive and encouraging, but these are some moments when they completely lost it. Like this time, when a contestant served raw meat and was on the verge of being eliminated. But what happened next is way worse than getting kicked out of the competition. This is a serious cooking competition. Don't come in here and waste our time. As you may know, MasterChef's challenges are known to be very intense and things can go downhill very quickly. But this realtor from season 2, who had quite the weak start on the show, defied all odds and emerged victorious. I'm talking about the self-proclaimed tomboy whose outspoken and competitive spirit shined right through the competition, Jennifer Bam. However, many viewers weren't happy to see her win at all since she was incredibly inconsistent. On Reddit, there was a poll about the worst MasterChef US winner where the user picked four different winners. In the end, Courtney Lepressi was the one who got the most votes. However, one user pointed out that while everyone despised Courtney, Jennifer was in fact the weakest of the bunch. Now, I do have to agree with this user since Jennifer lacked any form of consistency. What's more, she also made a mistake that could have ended her time in the competition. But I guess the cards were in her favor since she committed this mistake during the mystery box challenge. And somehow, she wasn't eliminated after that round. Who would have thought? This took place on the seventh day where the top 15 contestants were given a mystery box filled with amazing ingredients. On top of this, they would receive a fresh rack of lamb to include in their dish. The contestants had 60 minutes to wow the judges with their creativity and everyone seemed to come up with brilliant ideas. But Jennifer on the other hand, decided to try something bold. She used a whole rack of lamb instead of going for just one of the chops. I kinda wanna know what she was smoking when she came up with this idea since she only had 10 minutes to wrap things up when she thought of it. And you don't have to be a seasoned chef to know that an entire rack of lamb will definitely take really long to cook. What she could have done was just make it simpler and use the chops to let the flavors of the dish shine through. Jennifer was determined to deliver, but would her lamb fail on her? I mean, with just 10 minutes to cook this rack, she was bound to fail. It was only when this challenge was about to end that she started second-guessing her decision. All her fears came true when Chef Ramsay singled out her dish and said this. Your dish definitely stood out, unfortunately, for all the wrong reasons. Be it Hell's Kitchen, Master Chef, or Top Chef, you just can't serve anything that's inedible, and that's exactly what Jennifer did. While Chef Ramsay left it at that, Judge Joe wasn't having any of it. He wanted to make a point, so he walked up to her station and berated her. This is a complete disaster. This lamb is raw. I mean, this is just one rule you can't take for granted, and it's not even about the show or technique anymore. Cooking meat correctly is a basic necessity. You just can't serve raw food, period. I mean, just take a look at that chunk of meat. It would be dangerous to serve a piece of lamb like this to a judge. If she had any doubts, which I'm sure she did, the saner thing to have done would have been to back off. Admitting you screwed up would have been way better than serving this nasty mess, Jennifer. I mean, really, what was the worst that could have happened? You would have just landed in the bottom three and could have always bounced back during the elimination test that followed. Unfortunately for Jennifer, she just had to go through Joe's wrath. We're here to judge this thing. We're watching you cook. We're not idiots. He then said one thing that Jennifer was dreading to hear. If it were for me, this is not an elimination round. I would send you home now. But not every viewer was happy with Joe's criticism here. One YouTube user commented that Joe was just a warped version of Chef Ramsay. The user even went on to say that Joe was simply trying to humiliate her without actually giving any constructive criticism. But do you think Joe's anger was justified? Considering how this was Master Chef and not a joke, I think he's absolutely right. But this next contestant wasted 60 minutes to cook a small portion of a langoustine dish. And when it was time to taste it, what the judges did was totally unexpected. If you've noticed, there are some contestants who stay because of their capabilities and extraordinary skill set. But then there are those who just get lucky and ride the wave with the others. One such person happens to be Howard Simpson, a bar back from season 4 who surprised everyone by staying in the competition. It was quite surprising considering how he did poorly in most of the challenges. One Redditor couldn't fathom how Howard was able to stay for as long as he did, while another user wrote that Sasha Fox should have stayed instead of him. Which makes me wonder, was Howard actually that bad? As you may know, challenges are a great way for the contestants to showcase their talents. And well, the mystery box challenge particularly allows the contestants to play with their creativity. But when I say play, it doesn't mean that they could just play whatever they want. It just means that they should play it smart and use their skills to impress the judges. Howard wanted to do exactly that, but he forgot to add magic, imagination, innovation, and art into his dish. 
However, are you wondering what exactly went wrong with this dish? Well, sit tight because this is going to surprise you. On the first day of Master Chef, the top 19 chefs were challenged with the mystery box challenge. And this time, all the chefs except Natasha Kerjak and Savannah Sturges were given the invention test to fight for their place. Langoustine happened to be the main component, and the contestants just had 60 minutes to pump out a delicious dish. While everyone was playing with their creativity, Howard's creativity was put into question by Chef Ramsay. He decided to poach the beautiful Langoustine with a champagne vinaigrette containing strawberries. Hmm, was he trying to make a dessert out of it? Well, I can't tell, but let's see what the judges thought. When it was finally time to judge the dishes, I had a feeling that Howard's dream would be hanging by a thread. And well, when he presented the dish, all I could think about was what kind of rabbit food he was serving. I mean, 60 minutes for a damn salad? Was he growing a garden in there? Well, I could tell that Chef Ramsay was stunned by this dish and had a pretty valid question to ask. Did you disappear into the library for half an hour? No, I did not. I mean, like seriously? What the hell was he doing for the last 60 minutes? Salads don't nearly take that long to make. I see no vinegar. Chef? This is a joke. Howard left Chef Ramsay speechless with the creation that he presented. And well, Chef Ramsay was so disappointed that he didn't even want to give it a taste. I'm shocked. In fact, I'm not even gonna eat it. Well, that was a pretty expected reaction, but he wasn't the only one who was disappointed. While the famous chef just walked away, what Judge Joe did next was shocking. This is a waste of our time. If you thought that was brutal, then hold on because Chef Ramsay wasn't done ripping Howard a new one yet. But if that's the best you can do, then you are in the wrong kitchen. Oh, I bet Howard didn't see that one coming. But this next contestant was busy eating his own dish rather than listening to the judges' feedback. What exactly do you think might happen to this guy? Well, I could assure you that this one isn't going to go down very well. Meet Christian Collins, a stay-at-home dad who knew how to cook but had an extremely cocky attitude. One Reddit user couldn't understand why Christian was hated so much even though he was good at cooking. But being competent at cooking isn't the only thing that matters. However, another one pitched in and listed out different reasons to hate Christian. This included being disrespectful and pompous, among other things. Well, I simply can't agree with this comment more since Christian wasn't only disrespectful towards his fellow contestants, but also towards the judges. You see, on the 11th day of season 2, Christian miserably failed to make a good impression. But what's important to note is that it wasn't because of his dish, but rather because of his actions. Let me help you recall this drama. The top 11 chefs were given not one, but two mystery boxes. One was regular sized, and the other one was fairly large. While the regular one had vegetables, the large one had everyone's favorite protein, lobster. As Christian started working, he accidentally broke his food processor and went into a rage frenzy since he had little time left. Given the situation, I understand that being calm would be challenging, but Christian turned into a mad monkey. Can I get some new pasta, please? While he got some help getting some pasta, his dish wasn't among the top three. You are not in the top three. There was just such an anger with your cooking. Honestly, this outcome was pretty unfair. Christian neither had his mind nor his heart in the food that he'd prepared. Knowing how Christian was, I knew he wouldn't be happy with whoever got called to the front. And quite expectedly, he had something really nasty to say. Jennifer sucks. I don't think she has as much food knowledge as I do. This is when he started acting like a complete ass. Listening to the feedback judges have for others is pretty important because you never know if it might help you. However, Christian had other plans in mind. Dude didn't give a damn about what was happening around him and completely forgot about something. The judges always have an eye on everyone during their time on the show. I'm gonna personally come over there and throw you out of here. You show no respect and I'm not gonna deal with it. The funny thing about this whole situation was Christian's expression. He looked like he was being chastised for nothing. But we all know that isn't true at all. And honestly, this wasn't the first time Christian was berated for his attitude. But what makes it even worse was that he never learned from it. He just carried on with his goddamn snarky attitude. In an interview with Cleek Clack, Christian admitted to being a douchebag. However, he also added something Jennifer said about his arrogance in an interview. Christian said, I was a douchebag sometimes. I was trying to win. I was a little upset. I read some interviews with Jennifer Bem, the winner, after the fact, and she was kind of throwing me under the bus. I mean, what are you, mad that you won? There is no need to throw me under the bus after a show like that. She basically said something to the effect of, is Christian really that arrogant? 
and she goes, I wish I could say Christian isn't like that all the time, but he is that and worse. Well, I think Jennifer just stated some facts and once again, Christian was just being high-handed. But this next contestant pissed off a judge by acting like an entitled child when the judges were just giving him some feedback. However, would he be able to get away with it? I sure hope not, but Christopher Liu, a restaurant manager, showed the world that he definitely had some skill. However, much like the other contestant, he was sadly disliked for his poor attitude. One Reddit user who disliked Christopher's better than you attitude called him out for being entitled. What happened is, on the 12th day of season 6, the top 10 chefs were first given a team challenge. But after the blue team lost the challenge, they had to fight in order to stay back in the pressure test. Not every dish turns out to be perfect all the time, but one could always improve their skills with the right direction and by implementing feedback. However, in Christopher's case, instead of just taking in the feedback, he chose to show some attitude. During the pressure test, the home cooks had 25 minutes to make an appetizing gnocchi for the judges. However, Christopher failed to serve one. Your dumplings are definitely more on the under-seasoned side. Okay. He was already showing some attitude since Christina gave him some constructive criticism. Every time he said, okay, I felt like telling him to change his tone and sound more polite. He just sounded so dismissive. When Ramsay came to taste his dish, he wasn't happy with how the dish looked. The gnocchi looked so disappointing that the famous chef was mad at him for ruining something so mouthwatering. Rule number one, that chefs need to season things smartly and okay. not allow the customer to season it. That's the whole idea. Okay. Christina could sense his arrogance, but what Christopher did next made her furious. Rolling your eyes to the balcony while Gordon's tasting your dish, when we say we see everything, we mean it. That shrug Christopher gave was so disrespectful that only someone as cold as him would react that way. The audacity of the chef was incomparable to anyone else on the show. Anyway, let's discuss some more of what Christopher said in his AMA. While one Reddit user felt that Christina singled him out and picked on him on purpose, they wanted to know if Christopher felt the same way. And what Christopher wrote in response actually surprised me. He said that he didn't believe Christina tried to single him out and that she didn't pull any punches. He also went on to add that her story was very similar to his upbringing where he had to fight his way to reach where he was. Christopher was also grateful that she was tough on him since it helped him deliver a better performance. Well, I'm really glad he thinks this way. That's probably the reason why a few viewers are a fan of this guy. Like this user right here who blamed the camera angles and editing to portray Christopher in a negative light. They also claimed that the producers only showed Christopher being disrespectful, but in truth, he was just frustrated. And what do you know, Christopher was ready to answer this as well. He thanked everyone and claimed that he had no hard feelings towards anyone. All that mattered to him was the journey ahead, and with a little luck and hard work, he hoped that everything would be great in the future. But what's your whole take on this whole camera angle issue? Do you really think Christopher rolling his eyes was all camera work? If that was the case, then why did Christina berate him? Would you blame the show's editors for his attitude? While you think about that, do you remember this next contestant from season 7 who made a huge mistake during a team challenge that left Chef Ramsay extremely furious? It's crazy how things turned out because Manny Washington might just be one of the nicest contestants to ever have been featured on Master Chef. Although he was an amateur in terms of cooking, many felt that Manny went home way too soon. One user wrote about his thoughts on season 7 and I couldn't agree more. I mean, I think all of these contestants did leave the show way before their time. Team challenges could be really difficult for some home cooks since they aren't trained professionals. They without any doubt have cooked for their family, but cooking for a family and doing so in a competition are very different. In a competition, the cooks get a certain amount of time to prepare the food, which puts a lot of pressure on them. Now, if Manny's mistake was because of pressure, we won't get to know that, but one thing I could say is that Chef Ramsay was extremely furious with him. But before I tell you exactly what happened, let me introduce you to what the team challenge was about. 15 chefs were divided into two teams and Manny was placed into the red one. Both teams had to cook for the Air Force veterans and were given an hour to cook and another one to serve. Now enough of that, let's see exactly where Manny screwed up. When the serving began, the dishes were flying out from both kitchens. And with that, an equal number of problems landed on the red team's shoulders. Christina brought back a plate that had no mushroom bourbon sauce on it. How could they forget it? Because of this, Chef Ramsay was extremely annoyed. There's no sauce, there's no mushrooms. But that's what you're sending. Do we have any kind of respect what's going on? And before you know it, Christina did a crash landing on them by bringing in more plates. Three are raw, guys. They're raw. Oh, What was happening here? Chef Ramsay was furious, but when he learned that the steaks were sliced and served by Manny, he got even more irate. This was because serving raw food to people who keep us safe is extremely disrespectful. 
I expect you to take this serious. You save lives. These guys put their lives on the line. Manny, being a foreman himself, should have known better, and viewers jumped in as well to point out his mistakes. One YouTube user wrote that Manny was doomed the second that he cut the raw steak and sent it out to be served. I mean, couldn't Manny just see that the steaks were raw? Like, he was the one who sliced it and still decided to send it out. Now that's a really big mistake. Well, it's really sad to say that he had to leave the show early, but did you know that Manny took part in Food Network Star? Most of his fans were so excited to see him again. A Redditor even shared his excitement upon seeing familiar faces. And guess what? Manny placed in second! I'm glad he finally got the recognition he deserved. But what happened during MasterChef was definitely unforgivable. So these were the times judges got furious on MasterChef. But who knows, there may be more times when contestants deliberately try to piss judges off in the future.